Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to integrate the WhatsApp chat feature and live chat in our Laravel e-commerce website. So let's get started with it. So let me just give you a preview of how we are going to build it. So we will add a WhatsApp icon over here. Once the user clicks that, it will open the WhatsApp chat of your given mobile number. And on the right side, we will just integrate the live chat. So when the user clicks on that icon over here, a pop-up will open over here and the user can chat with the business owner. So you will get the notification in your live chat dashboard. So let's start with it. So first we'll just search for WhatsApp icon over here. So here I've just searched for WhatsApp logo PNG and let's take this first image. So I'll just drag that and drop it in our folder. Inside the public folder, we'll go to the assets and I have my images folder over here. If you have created your images folder inside your front end, that is fine. You can use that way also and you can use it even this way. So there's no issue in that. So I have my images folder over here. So I'll just drag and drop the WhatsApp logo over here. And I'll just rename it, say WhatsApp icon. So now we'll get back to our code. And here you have your layout file, right? So the main layout file, we are just going to include that. So we require it throughout the website, right? So we don't require that only on a particular page over here. So irrespective of the page, so user can be on any page, that WhatsApp thing will be over here. So we'll just add that in the layout file over here. Just create a div with the class. You can give anything over here. I'll just say WhatsApp chat. And we are going to add an A tag over here. And inside the A tag, we will have IMG tag. Inside this SRC, open and close double curly braces. And call the asset function. And inside the asset function, we have it inside our assets, images, and WhatsApp icon. So make sure you are calling the right file with the right spelling over here so if you make any mistake in this then you will not get that image over there so in the alt tag you can just mention this whatsapp chat or whatsapp logo save and now let us just check the output refresh and you have got it over here we'll just set the height and width for this height is equal to 100 px and the same will give for the width 100 px okay let's close the sidebar save and refresh so here it is so now we'll just add the css and make it sticky over here so when i'm just scrolling top this thing is getting hidden over here just copy this class name and go to your css file that is inside your public front end css custom.css we'll just go to the bottom over here and paste specify the bottom 10px and to the left we'll give 10px and the position is going to be fixed so we'll just check the output now refresh and here it is so now you can just scroll and go to any page that thing will be fixed over there so we'll just reduce this size a little bit so we have it over here so i'll just make this to 80 and the width also to 80 save refresh so now it looks good so now when i just hover on this whatsapp you can see we are getting this address of localhost 8000 that is because we have not given anything in the href of the a tag so let me just show you so here you have this a tag right so we have to specify the api whatsapp link over here with the phone number we want to chat with so just go and search for whatsapp api link so here you have few ads so just ignore the ads and here you have faq.whatsapp.com so I'll just open that and here you have all the methods to send messages on whatsapp so here you have a method where you can directly open a chat with the phone number and 
here you have with the phone number and the text and there is one more thing you will directly open whatsapp with the text and select the phone number or there so we are just going to take this one where we have the phone number along with the text so just copy that and paste it in your href and here in the place of this phone number just paste your country code followed by your phone number and here you have the text so whatever you want to give you can give over here this percentage 20 specifies a space so here you can see i am interested in your car for sale so whatever default message you want to send that thing you can just type it over here so now let me just save and check the output let's close this tab refresh and now when you click on this you will get the whatsapp link over here so you just open that in the next tab so for that you just have to add the target over here say target equal to underscore blank save and refresh and now when i click on this you can see we have got api.whatsapp.com with the phone number and the text over here so that text whatever we just passed so here you can see it's asking to open whatsapp so i'll just cancel this so we are done with the whatsapp chat thing so now we'll integrate the live chat over here so we are going to use the talk to live chat so just search for talk to so that is t a w k t o so you got the first link over here talk to and you just open that so it's a free messaging app so you can register for free and create your chat widget so i have already created my account over here so i'll just log in directly so once you are into your dashboard click on this administration icon over here just click on that and you can see you have an option over here called chat widget so i'll just click on that and here you can see enter widget details so just enter your widget name so i'll just say eshop and just select this inline over here create widget and you have got it over here so you have the widget code over here and i'll just click on done so you have your chat widget over here and the widget code over here so i have already copied this code so we'll go and paste it in our code go and paste it over here okay so you don't have to set up anything manually everything is already preset over here so once you have pasted this code over here just save the file and check the output go to the browser and refresh and here it is so you can see this icon over here so when i just click on this you have it over here it's a new conversation and send the message hello and once i click the send message i will get an alarm over here on my talk to administration dashboard so let me just hit send join the chat So I'll just reply over here, hello, and click on send. So that message will be visible over here, you can see. And this is your username which you have joined the chat with. So you have multiple options over here where you can change the name and transcript this to your email ID and the sound option and this and this chat session. So here you can just read the chat if you have liked it or not. And you have an option of attaching files and an emoji option. I'll just close this so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to add the whatsapp chat button and the live chat in our laravel 8 e-commerce website so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you